how do you operationalize or, or build that into the organization and build frameworks so the organization's strategy is driven by this notion of change? What, what does that look like on a global so, scale? So we, we, it's, it's, it's another really good one. So one, one of the decisions right, we made, and, and this was the discussion last night and then a, a very nice recognition here uh, on marketing strategy, right, was if you're in the technology space, you have different choices as to how you want to differentiate yourself, right? And we made a very conscientious decision that we are in a services business. Services business, you know, requires clearly technology, but we also, you know, have over 100,000 employees. And we view our employees as, as a core, if not the key differentiator in how we work with our clients. We actually call our uh, employees the ideapreneurs. And we have an entire team that works on what we call employee branding. And the way we think about this is, it started with employees first, customer second, which may seem a little counterintuitive, but the notion being is if you, if you empower your employees and you, you put your frontline employees in a position where they can make decisions and work with their customers, ultimately your customers will benefit from Absolutely. that. 